I don't know if I'm sexually attracted to velvet, um, but it just Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine, 83 here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day. What is up? Today's video is a thrift haul. It's a little bit of a fall thrift haul. A lot of times I go thrifting and I don't film it or maybe I filmed it and it just was a fail, which I filmed a thrift with me two weeks ago that I literally just started crying in the thrift store. I'm still in the beginning stages of therapy and you know, they say it gets worse before it gets better and oh gosh darn, has it, uh, gotten worse. So let's not think about that and instead uh, think about thrift clothes. Now I think I am going to categorize um, each part of this thrift haul just because I feel like it makes more sense to do like all of the tops and then the bottoms and then like dresses, jackets. I don't know. I just feel like for me whenever I'm watching a thrift haul it's just nice. It like makes sense for my brain versus jumping from like bottom to top to dress to jacket to bottom bottom top. You know, let's start with the tops first. So the first thing I thrifted, which actually was, I think two weeks ago, it was $6. It's originally from Carol Little and it is just this very beautiful bedazzled vest. My Sabres just recently put out like vests and jackets and like all their fall clothing. So I've just like been in heaven going through there. And I also have been really wanting to find, I mean, it's not really the proper vest I was necessarily initially looking for, but it it kind of has that like vibe to it and also kind of reminds me of Fran Fine, which like literally a fashion icon, especially with the bedazzledness and it's surprisingly in really good condition. Then I thrifted this kind of like fuzzy cardigan sweater from Plato's Closet. It was $10. It's originally from Forever 21 and it is in a medium. And the thing that got me were these buttons, these beautiful gold buttons. Another reason why I ended up purchasing it is because it is not itchy and it does not shed. And I feel like a sweater like this, the like fuzzy sweaters, they are, are always itchy or they shed or they literally do both. So I was quite impressed by it, especially for being from originally Forever 21. It honestly makes me feel like, <laughs> like a cat? No, okay, not really like a cat, but it feels like there's a cat around me. The next top I got is from Poshmark. The seller is Megan.Rose.Closet. I will leave it linked in the description. I think I had liked this top at some point. I don't remember when, but she ended up commenting on it and saying that she loved my videos and that like I could offer anything and she would like accept it, which I didn't want to do like too low or anything. I think I only did it like $2 less than what it originally was like priced and she shipped it super fast. She included like the nicest note ever in there. It's kind of like this little crop top that says happy on the inside. And I just really enjoyed the embroidery. There is something about rainbow like letters embroidered that just like calms me and makes me happy. Then I thrifted this from Plato's Closet a weekish or two weeks ago, and it is originally from Forever 21. I got it for $12. You guys have actually already seen this top in last Sunday's video. It is this beautiful green, like almost turquoise velvet top, like little puff sleeve top. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this top, not only for the color, the material, but also the way that it fits. Sometimes with tops like this, I'm a little like, Mm, I don't know just because sometimes with my chest like the chest area is too big for my chest but this one fits like an absolute dream and also I don't know if it's because of the color and the material or both but I'm a sweaty person I literally say it I feel like in almost every single video and I sweat under my armpits no matter if I'm hot or cold or literally I'm just like sitting at my computer not doing anything that's like stressful or anything my armpits are sweating so I really like this top because it doesn't show it the way that it kind of hits the light it just didn't show like the sweat mark that I had when I was filming last Sunday's video so that is awesome this one I was actually sent for free if you guys saw my dark academia mystery box video basically the seller that I bought the mystery box from actually included this like free piece in there which her depop account is Becky Bay and a lot of people were upset that I didn't do like a try on of it so I just figured I would include it in this video which is this Winnie the Pooh button up and it has 
little Winnie the Pooh right there and Tigger right there. And I just love it so much. I think it's so nice just with a white t-shirt, black t-shirt. I can button it up and tuck it in. And I just thought it was so kind that she sent it to me for free. And I just love literally anything Winnie the Pooh. Now you guys know I love velvet. Like velvet material is my absolute like dream material. It just makes me feel a certain type of way. I don't know if I'm sexually attracted to velvet, um, but it just so when I saw this button up, it's originally from Briggs. I thrifted it for $12 and I can't really tell if it's supposed to be a dress or just, I think it's supposed to be a actual just normal button up. But I thought if I put it with like a black mini skirt that it would almost look kind of like a dress. And that's been something I have been having my eye out every time I go thrifting is to find just like some sort of black button up dress. And although this isn't necessarily exactly it, it does the job. It fills the hole that was in my heart searching for it. It's so beautiful. I love the buttons. They really like stand out as well. I am happy they aren't black because I feel like it would just, your body would get kind of lost. The buttons kind of just like pop out a bit to add some sort of dimension. This piece, it is originally from Topshop. I thrifted it at Plato's Closet. It was $12 and it is this little like tank top. And the reason why I thrifted it is because number one, it's really cute and it fits amazing i love it so much and it has kind of like this open back which i thought was kind of scandalous you'll see it more in the like actual try on but i felt like it really bridged a good like fall and summer style like transitional because again where i live it doesn't get super cold so it makes it hard sometimes as it's going into fall like i want to wear fall pieces but sometimes the weather does not allow me so this is kind of nice in that it has a summer silhouette but it's black so it's kind of keeping to more of those darker tones and then I can always layer it with a turtleneck or a jacket and I feel like it's just very versatile and I am just such a freaking sucker for sharing like it is another like style in a shirt that just makes me so happy. And then actually Nostalgic Threads on Depop sent me a couple of pieces that are gonna be like sprinkled in to this thrift haul. And the first one is this mini t-shirt, which is so freaking cute. I've already worn it at Disneyland like a month ago because she sent me this package like a month and a half ago. And I originally posted a photo on my Instagram like stories about the pieces that she had sent me. And then I realized not everyone that follows me on YouTube, follows me on Instagram. So I figured I would just include it in this video. And I love this t-shirt so much. It's kind of like the perfect length and the perfect material. It's almost like a square, which initially you're like, mm, doesn't seem very flattering, but it is perfect in that you can wear it untucked or tucked because as much as I love tops tucked, I mean, that's, that is what I do. Um, especially when you're at Disneyland, like untucking and retucking and untucking just throughout the day is so frustrating. So having a t-shirt that looks great untucked or tucked is just like the bread and butter of t-shirts. I then thrifted this pajama top, um, that was $6, I think from Savers. It is originally from the company Jones, New York. And and I love this material, obviously, you guys know that. And whenever I go into the pajama section, I always look at the slip dresses and I kind of forget about like pajama tops that can be worn as like normal tops. And I really want to get into it, even though it is now fall time and like going into winter and that kind of thing. I think lavender and pastels and honestly, you can wear neons during fall, like live your life. Then I actually have a sweater that is originally from Madewell. I thrifted it from Plato's Closet and it is kind of like a crop sweater. Um, just looks like this. It's striped and it totally reminds me of fall. I feel like it's something Carrie would wear, my friend Carrie Dayton. I just feel like these are the colors that she would wear. And I originally thrifted it for like a future video that you will see because it goes with like a particular outfit that I'm wanting to make. And I really like it. I think it's cute. It's not itchy. It's like heavy, but not thick. Like it's not over like heating or anything, but it definitely like feels like a good sweater. Then alas, I actually have a thrift fail. Um, I thrifted this on ThreadUp. It's originally from the company Worth. It is 100% silk and it was $12.94. And it is like this beautiful like top. Like do not get me wrong. I actually love, love the top, especially this color, but alas, it is too big. I'm kind of going back and forth if I want to like try to make it fit me, but because it's 100% silk, like 
I don't think I necessarily trust myself uh, to do that. So I may put it on my Poshmark. I may not. And that's kind of the thing when it comes to thrifting online or honestly just thrifting in general, especially right now, not being able to try stuff on is you don't know always if it's going to fit. And it says it was a medium on thread up, but the chest area is just too loose for my body. And so I just don't think I can make it work unless I resize it. But again, I don't think I can do it justice. So may put on Poshmark, not sure, but it's really cute. Moving on to the bottoms, I actually uh, surprisingly have quite a bit. Um, I don't know how that happened, but the first thing actually was sent by Nostalgia Threads again it is this beautiful gray floral maxi skirt it does have two slits which i absolutely love and this is just so perfect for fall like october really love it love the floral so this skirt is the one that i had thrifted when i filmed the thrift with me that i cried in that will never see the light of day but is originally from je nara hada i got it for seven dollars and 79 cents and i just love how it's pleated it has like a midi length it's not not super midi but it's not short it's kind of like in the middle of a midi and a short skirt it's this forest green color that goes with so much like even with what i'm wearing i could totally wear it with there the possibilities are endless and i just love it so much something else i've been weirdly into are denim skirts and i've tried denim skirts i mean my entire life i feel like when i was in elementary school that was like a big thing i don't think i ever wore one but all the popular girls wore them and i wish i like had the confidence to wear them but as i have tried them out like in my adult years i guess i've just never like found the perfect one and although the one i did thrift from thread up in the sponsor video i had done with them i love so much it's like a maxi denim skirt literally amazing i wanted to find one that was a little bit short Shorter, but not too short and I saw this at Plato's Closet originally from Levi's and it was $10 and is this like midi length denim skirt and I just love it so much mainly because of the belt loops and the fact that it does have a slit in the back going for something that's a little bit longer that then has a slit in the back it just feels like I have space um to move my legs it is versatile in all the seasons at least where i live where i can wear it during fall winter spring summer okay i know i just said that like denim skirts are really restricting and like aren't always my favorite and this one isn't necessarily denim it's like a quilted material but i thrifted it also from plato's closet for eight dollars i just really love number one the pattern but also the material it's a much more like comfortable fabric and if it's high-waisted and i just felt like something like this again i feel Feel like i'm gonna say it for every single bottom but putting it with a black turtleneck would be so cute some black tights and black boots that's like my new uniform for fall time which i have another skirt it is this wine red skirt and i feel like everyone in their moms owns this because maybe like four or five years ago i felt like this style was really really popular especially at forever 21 which it is originally from forever 21 i got it on thread up it was seven dollars and 39 cents and it's just this like straight up and down little mini skirt and i just felt like it would be a really good like staple to have as I am getting into shorter skirts. Now this skirt you already saw in Wednesday's video but it is this faux leather mini skirt and oh my gosh look at that tie up in the front that is it is just amazing. I got it on thread up for $15.72. It's originally from Nasty Gal. It worked perfect in the video that I originally wore it in but honestly just in general. Okay I've also been getting into kind of like I wouldn't say even grungier or like goth but kind of like a dark like maybe kind of goth look with like fishnets platform boots like i don't think it's necessarily goth but if you again follow me on pinterest like it totally makes sense and like leather skirt like so cool okay so i technically have two necks but they're the same thing and one of them is gonna go on my poshmark which it is the american apparel tennis skirt and the story goes i wanted to try the american apparel tennis skirt again i tried it last year but i had gotten it in white and I just felt like the white did not go with my style. So about a month ago, I was like, you know what? I really want to try it in black. So I went on Poshmark, took a look. I found this one. It was $18, which was like one of the cheapest ones on Poshmark. And it is this one, which the next one looks exactly the same, but they are different. And so I bought it and the person like didn't seem like they were going to ship it. Like when you buy something on Poshmark, you technically have seven days to ship the item. If you don't ship it within seven days, the purchaser or the 
customer, the purchaser can cancel it. After like day six, I was like, okay, I don't think they're gonna ship this skirt. And so I ended up going and buying another one for $35. And they ended up shipping on exactly the seventh day. Like I woke up on the seventh day and an hour before I was going to cancel it, they shipped it. Now I have two American Apparel um, tennis skirts, which I just figured I would put one on Poshmark. And the original $18 one is the one that I've actually worn a couple of times. And I wasn't really going to like try the other one on because I was like, well, they're the same skirt. Like it doesn't matter, but a revelation happened actually today is finally when I opened this other one that was $35. It is longer and slightly bigger waist than the $18 one. And also the tag is totally different. So the $18 one has a black tag and the $35 one has a white tag. And on the white tag, it says made in China. Whereas the $18 one says made in the US. And that was kind of like the big thing about like American Apparel when it was like in its heyday like years ago and I know that they have rebranded kind of like they're still American Apparel but I think you have to purchase them through Amazon or something like it's totally different than how it used to be and so I don't know if they now make their clothing specifically in China so maybe this is a newer version and this is like the original older one. When it comes to material they feel the same. It's just the one that says that it was made in China is a little bit longer and a little bit bigger. I think I may keep the longer one just because this one is so short and I don't know if the original ones were that short or maybe it just like shrunk or something. I do not know. So this next piece, I honestly cannot remember where I thrifted it. I I thought for a second I thrifted it on ThreadUp, but like it's not in my order history. So I want to say Sabres, maybe Plato's Closet, but they are these green pants that are originally from Alfred Dunner and they are these elastic waist pants. Um, They have pockets, they're green, they are amazing. I know that they don't seem like that big of a deal just like looking at them. You're like really like why are you so excited about them? But I've been wanting to find this style pant in my size for such a long time. They're just nice because they're comfy and also I really like the color. So I feel like even though they're almost kind of like sweats because of the color and like the style of pant, it looks like they aren't sweat. Talking about pastels, um, I thrifted these pants from ThreadUp, originally from Zara. It was $25.85 and they are just these like, they're really thin actually. Like they kind of remind me of something that would be sold on Boohoo, like the material wise. I did think they were gonna be a little bit thicker, um, but obviously you're thrifting online so you have no idea what the material is actually going to feel like. I'm still gonna wear them, I still like them. They are these lilac trouser pants and they're they're kind of like a wide leg. They do go in um, at the bottom just a little bit, almost like they're tapered. I feel like, again, I can style them in so many ways. Okie dokie, onto the dresses, which I only have three. Like it's not that many or anything, but just wanted to put them in their category. I have this dress, which I've already worn. And again, Nostalgic Threads had sent to me for free. Again, just so, so kind. It is originally from the company Nanette Lepore Dresses. It does say it's a size 10 and I feel like it fits like a good medium and is this oh, again velvet like oh my goodness and it's this floral like gray red dress perfect for spooky season these two um are a little bit more like spring summertime uh but this first one i feel like it can go both ways i can layer it to make it a little bit more fall and winter and then wear nothing under it for like springtime and summertime and it is this denim dress this denim button-up dress it's originally from the company cherokee it is in a small and i thrifted it from savers for five dollars and 49 cents like i've already said a black turtleneck with it would be so beautiful and black tights and black knee-high boots would just be cherry on top. And then I have this dress, which kind of reminds me of like cottagecore. And I probably won't really wear until like springtime. Drifted it from Savers for $5.99. It's originally from the company Honors. And it's just this red like baby doll plaid or gingham? No, it's plaid. Is that plaid or gingham? I can't, I can't tell. Anyway, I thought it was really cute. I really like the silhouette. It just seems like it's going to be the perfect thing for a hot like summer day, which I don't particularly like, but at least I can wear this. And then I surprisingly have two jackets. Like 
I go into the jacket section anytime I go thrifting just because it makes me happy. I saw these two jackets from different like time so not at the same time and I fell in love with them and surprisingly they're both denim which didn't realize that until now and um I have this first one which I thrifted from Savers it was $20.99 but it is a pretty interesting denim jacket I originally thrifted it for a again a specific video that's coming up in the next couple weeks for like a styling video and it's originally from Marvin Richards and it's this denim like I don't think this is real fur. Yeah, it's not real fur. It's faux fur on the inside and it's like this brown and these style like jackets I've always been really interested in but just never really found them thrifting. Kind of reminds me of Phoebe um, from Friends. Like I feel like she would wear something like this and I just thought it was a really cool jacket. It's definitely quite warm. And then from Plato's Closet, I got this for $15 and it's from the company Sunrise Kingdom. And it's this denim jacket that I actually have owned very similar ones in the past and my issue with the last one that I owned is it was just so puffy um that it like almost felt claustrophobic wearing it because it wasn't a loose fit and so you have this lining that's like really thick and then the jacket is tight and it was just a very uncomfortable jacket to wear whereas this one's definitely thinner which again with where I live I don't need the thickest jacket in the world so it kind of works perfect for that um and I really liked the color of denim I thought it was really really nice and yeah I feel like this is something that's just kind of like a staple it's not a like trend piece it's kind of timeless at least I feel like with me like it's something that you kind of wear forever that was a little fall thrift haul of things I've thrifted in the past two months. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like thrifting and secondhand fashion, make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexandjane83. I hope you guys have a super sunny Sunday. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!